Dear students, today we will discuss our next topic, which is transition ribbon. So we have uh, already applied different kind of templates on our slides. We have used different themes, and now we are set that how different slides should move from one uh, slide to another slide. So what, how the transition would happen from one slide to another slide, we can control. And you might have seen in different uh, presentations or maybe in different uh, um, films or some uh, TV dramas or some, somewhere where one kind of content is shifted to another kind of content and there is a smooth transition that some content is flying, some content is emerging, some content is fading in, fading out. So we will try such things that how different slides can be, uh, can have such kind of transitions. So let's start the practical. So we are on the same slide on which we were working, the same presentation, which had five slides. And we are on the transition uh, ribbon. And here we can see the preview. When we will apply some transition style, then we will see it using the preview. We have different effects options. We can also add the uh, sound. We can also say that for how long this transition should uh, be available and uh, should complete. And we can apply to all of the slides and whether the slide uh, should move on mouse click or it should uh, be moving in some seconds. So let's start. So first of all is the transition style. So there are number of transition styles available. So for example, if I click on fade, so you will see that it has faded and then it has become available, right? And I can also increase the time to make you feel more comfortable in seeing that how, yes, so it this slide has emerged and then there are number of other possibilities like shape so if I yes so it, the uh, slide has uh, made it available uh, using a particular shape which we selected over here so there are some other possibilities like flash so such kind of flash will be uh, when a new slide will be shown so you can try at home such kind of different things like uh, let's try curtain. Yes. So this is what you might have seen in the movies. So there is a curtain and then the slide is coming. So you can try at home number of such things which are available. And then the next thing is you can also add some sound. So if you have a, a speaker installed and speaker available at your home, then you can select any of the sound from here and when you click on the preview then you will see that that sound will be played and you can also uh, add your own voice over here so these are already available and if you go on to other sound and then uh, record your own voice and give the path of that voice and then that voice would be displayed and this is telling that in how much time the transition should be completed. So you have seen that curtains were uh, coming in six seconds. So if we decrease it, like we need it in like one second. So yes, so it has no uh, become even faster. And if we move until 0.5 second, so then you can see, but I guess uh, such kind of curtain kind of uh, transition looks very good when we are at six. So yes, it's giving more meaningful way. Uh, and then you can apply it on all of the slides, right? So this transition has been applied on all of the slides. So let's see. So this is our first slide, which will be shown like this. And then when we click, so this is the next slide which is shown then on click the next slide will be shown on click the next slide will be shown right and you can also 
not apply to all of the slides the same uh, transition instead you can go on each slide and then do not uh, click on this button and apply the transition to each slide for example if we go over here and we say okay here we do not need this thing we need such kind of thing so let's see yes so this this would be like bump so this is Carlton and the next slide is like bump right so such kind of things you can apply uh, then there is another option that whether uh, you want to control your slides on mouse click or it should be available with some time duration so for example if i select that after here after one second the next slide should come so in this way i do not need to click my mouse or arrow keys so it will be moving to the next slide within one second as it is so i have not clicked anywhere right so this is the transition uh, ribbon which has helped us uh, to have the transition on the slides and then uh, here is another thing which we did not discuss that is the effect option so whether you want that bump should move to the right or should move to the left so if i click on left so now you will see it is going on the left side so every kind of thing has different effects right so Carlton doesn't have any effect because Carlton will move uh, in the same way but if we select another for example push so we have number of effects so for example so this will be pushed from downside from bottom we can have from left so it is coming from the left and so on so all of such effects can be uh, added to the slides as well so let's conclude today's session we have learned that how you can apply transition from one slide to another slide and it's really exciting to make such presentations which have so many transitions at times and to attract your users however in professional settings as we are discussing uh, as i am presenting this course then i should not uh, make many many transitions in my presentation because then your attention will be diverted to that particular thing however when you are presenting in your office or to your colleagues or you are making some drama or movie so in that situation you can have such transitions and you can apply to the, your uh, slides and in the next module we will be coming back to you that how you can control such kind of transition within the content so at the moment the transition was from one slide to another slide but what kind of uh, effects can be added to particular text within one slide so that is called animation so let's come back on it in the next module